Love is a powerful force that can bring people together, ignite passion, and inspire lifelong commitment. However, there are times when we find ourselves entangled in relationships that may not be aligned with God's plan for our lives. It is during these moments of uncertainty that we should pause and seek guidance from a higher power. This video explores five distinct signs that indicate when God may be signaling that a particular relationship is not in accordance with His divine will. Drawing inspiration from biblical verses, we will delve into these signs and discover how they can lead us toward greater spiritual clarity and discernment. Sign number one, lack of shared spiritual values. One of the primary signs that may indicate that God doesn't want you with someone is the absence of shared spiritual values. Our spiritual beliefs and values form the foundation of our identity and shape our worldview. When two individuals in a relationship do not share the same spiritual foundation, it can lead to a significant misalignment in their core values and beliefs. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, we are advised, Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? This verse emphasizes the stark contrast between righteousness and wickedness, light and darkness. It highlights the fundamental incompatibility between two individuals who are not united in their faith. When there is a lack of shared spiritual values, it becomes challenging to establish common ground in crucial areas of life, such as moral decision-making, life goals, and the pursuit of spiritual growth. The absence of shared values can lead to ongoing conflicts and disagreements, as well as a sense of disconnection and loneliness within the relationship. Shared spiritual values provide a strong framework for mutual understanding, support, and growth. When both partners share the same spiritual foundation, they can draw strength from their shared beliefs and support each other in their faith journey. They can navigate life's challenges together based on a common understanding of God's principles and teachings. In a relationship where spiritual values are not shared, compromises may be made that go against one's deeply held beliefs. This can create internal conflicts and a sense of spiritual unease. It becomes challenging to cultivate a sense of unity and purpose when there is a fundamental mismatch in spiritual perspectives. Sign number two. Persistent inner conflict. Inner conflict refers to a state of ongoing struggle and tension within oneself, often stemming from conflicting desires, beliefs, or values. When this conflict persists in the context of a relationship, it serves as a strong indication that God's will may not align with the continuation of that relationship. In the book of Proverbs, we are reminded of chapter 16, verse 9. In their hearts, Humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. This verse underscores the sovereignty of God in directing our paths and the importance of aligning our will with His divine plan. When we find ourselves constantly torn between our desires and what we believe God wants for us, it becomes evident that there is a dissonance between our own will and God's purpose for our lives. Persistent inner conflict within a relationship can manifest in various ways. It may arise from conflicting goals or aspirations, divergent values, incompatible lifestyles, or fundamental differences in priorities. This ongoing struggle can create emotional turmoil, stress, and a sense of being stuck or unfulfilled. Inner conflict is a powerful indication that the relationship may hinder our spiritual well-being. It disrupts our peace and hampers our ability to fully surrender to God's plan. It urges us to seek God's guidance and align our desires with His perfect and loving will. When we experience inner conflict, it is an opportunity for self-reflection and examination of whether the relationship aligns with God's purpose for our lives. Moreover, persistent inner conflict can hinder our spiritual growth and development. The journey of faith involves surrendering our own desires and submitting to God's guidance. When we consistently experience conflict within a relationship, it can impede our ability to grow spiritually and pursue a deeper relationship with God. 
our focus becomes consumed by the turmoil within, preventing us from experiencing the fullness of God's grace and blessings. Sign number three, destructive patterns and negative influence. When unhealthy behaviors, harmful dynamics, and negative influences persist, it can be an indication that God's will may not align with the continuation of that relationship. The Bible reminds us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good character. This verse emphasizes the profound impact that our associations and relationships can have on our lives. When we surround ourselves with negative influences and engage in destructive patterns, it can have detrimental effects on our character, well-being, and spiritual growth. In a relationship, destructive patterns can manifest in various ways. It may involve constant criticism, verbal or emotional abuse, manipulation, deceit, or a lack of respect and trust. These patterns erode the foundation of a healthy and thriving relationship, causing emotional pain, confusion, and a sense of being trapped in a harmful cycle. Negative influences within a relationship can stem from a partner's lifestyle choices, values, or associations. It may involve behaviors such as substance abuse, excessive partying, or engaging in activities that go against one's moral compass. When these negative influences persist, they can hinder our personal growth, compromise our values, and draw us away from God's plan for our lives. Furthermore, destructive patterns and negative influences can create an environment of disharmony and unrest. They can lead to feelings of anxiety, fear, and diminished self-worth. Instead of fostering love, support, and mutual growth, these patterns undermine the very essence of a healthy relationship. Recognizing the presence of destructive patterns and negative influence requires honest self-reflection and a willingness to confront the reality of the situation. It calls for setting healthy boundaries, seeking support from trusted individuals, and taking steps to address and resolve these harmful dynamics. In situations where such patterns persist and efforts to address them prove futile, it may be an indication that God is guiding us away from that relationship. God desires for us to experience love, joy, and peace within our relationships. He wants us to be in partnerships that foster personal growth, emotional well-being, and spiritual alignment. Sign number four, lack of peace and inner confirmation. Peace, both within ourselves and in our relationships, is a powerful indicator of God's presence and guidance. When we lack a deep sense of peace and inner confirmation, it suggests that God's will may not align with the continuation of that relationship. In the book of Philippians, we are encouraged in chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This verse reminds us of the profound peace that comes from God and how it guards and protects our hearts and minds. When we experience a lack of peace within a relationship, it can signal that something is amiss and warrants our attention. The absence of peace can manifest in various ways. It may involve a constant feeling of restlessness, anxiety, or a persistent sense of unease when thinking about the relationship. It may also manifest as a lack of clarity or inner confirmation when considering the future of the partnership. These feelings of disquietude can indicate that the relationship is not in alignment with God's plan and purpose for our lives. Inner confirmation refers to the deep conviction and assurance we experience when we are on the right path or making the right decisions. It is a spiritual confirmation that resonates within us, affirming that our choices align with God's will. When we lack this inner confirmation within a relationship, it can indicate a disconnect between our desires and God's guidance. God desires for us to experience His peace, which surpasses human understanding. This peace serves as a compass, guiding us in our relationships and life choices. It is a confirmation of His presence and a sign that we are walking in His will. When this peace is absent, it may be an indication that God is leading us away from that relationship, 
seeking to protect us from potential harm or steering us towards a more fulfilling path. Recognizing the lack of peace and inner confirmation requires attentiveness to our emotions, thoughts, and spiritual discernment. It calls for honest introspection and seeking God's guidance through prayer, meditation, and seeking wise counsel. God desires for us to have clarity and peace within our relationships, and He will guide us as we surrender our desires to His divine plan. Sign number five, stagnation in personal and spiritual growth. As followers of Christ, our journey involves continuous growth and transformation. When a relationship hinders our personal and spiritual development, it can indicate that God's will may not align with its continuation. The Bible teaches us in Ephesians chapter 4 verses 15 and 16. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of Him who is the head, that is, Christ. From Him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, as each part does its work. This verse emphasizes the importance of growth and maturity within the body of Christ. A stagnant relationship can hinder personal growth by inhibiting individual exploration, self-discovery, and the pursuit of personal goals and passions. It may result in a sense of complacency or being stuck in a comfort zone, limiting opportunities for personal development and fulfillment. Moreover, when a relationship impedes spiritual growth, it prevents us from deepening our relationship with God and living in alignment with His will. It may involve a lack of support for spiritual practices, a mismatch in spiritual values and beliefs, or a failure to encourage one another in the pursuit of a vibrant faith. In a relationship where stagnation in personal and spiritual growth is prevalent, there is often a lack of mutual edification and the absence of an environment that fosters growth and maturation. Instead of spurring one another on towards greater spiritual depths, the relationship may inhibit the exploration of faith, discourage seeking God's guidance, and hinder the pursuit of God's purpose for our lives. Recognizing the stagnation in personal and spiritual growth requires reflection and self-assessment. It entails honestly evaluating whether the relationship is helping us become the best version of ourselves and drawing us closer to God. It may involve seeking God's wisdom and guidance, as well as seeking the input of trusted mentors or counselors who can provide objective insights. In conclusion, recognizing the signs that God may not want us with someone is crucial for our personal and spiritual well-being. Lack of shared spiritual values, persistent inner conflict, destructive patterns, lack of peace and inner confirmation, and stagnation in personal and spiritual growth all serve as indicators that God may be guiding us away from certain relationships. By heeding these signs, we open ourselves to the possibility of entering into relationships that align with God's plan, bring us peace, and foster personal and spiritual growth. Let us seek God's guidance and share these teachings with others, so that more hearts may be touched and lives transformed by the love and wisdom of Jesus. Like and share this message to spread the teachings of Jesus and inspire others to walk in alignment with God's will. Amen.